So first of all, congratulations on the film. It's fun, it's empowering, and very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. You had to struggle to get this film made, but you stuck to your guns to make sure that you told the story the way you wanted to. So can you tell me about that hustle? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it was just years to try to get the movie off the ground. I mean, it takes years to probably get any movie off the ground, but I think when you're telling a story about women who maybe cross a certain line, um, that becomes a lot harder. And uh, I, I think also just where they started from, not just where they ended up, but a story about strippers felt like a, a tough thing to get made um, because of the stigma and the judgment that's passed on them in, in, in general. And so, um, so yeah, we worked like crazy to, to, to push the rock uphill and, and then found the right partners in STX and they greenlit the movie in January. So it's been a, a short, door to door <laughs> from green light to release but yeah really excited to share it with people i have to say fantastic casting you put together all these talented women from different age uh, race background and sizes so was this something all along that you had in mind and what was the biggest hustle did you have to hustle to get anyone Oh, I mean, I certainly hustled. I tried to reach out to Cardi and Lizzo for a long time before there was even a movie. I mean, um, Jennifer, once once Jennifer was on board, obviously, the hustle got a lot easier. <laughs> I had a partner in hustling, so... Um, um, but, yeah, no, it was, it was hard to honestly get all these very busy people in the same room at the same time. I, just, just sheer scheduling was, was a lot. But, yeah, I mean, it was... Um, I had written a lot of roles for a lot of these different women, you know, Trace Lissette I wrote the part for, Jacqueline Francis, who goes by Jack the Stripper online. Um, so I had written these roles for them, and it was all just about trying to get all of them, you know, because you, you never know if something's going to work out or not. And for me, it was it was the group. I, I wanted to cast that locker room and, and see all of those women together and see them on stage together. It was all, you know, very important to me that it it felt like, a, you know, an inclusive group of people. What about the role of Ramona? I can't imagine anyone else besides JLo playing that. No, there's no one else who could have played it. <laughs> Did you always have in mind when you were writing that? I didn't think of anybody when I was writing it. I don't really think about any actors when I'm writing, and then I just think of them once I reopen the script and look, and then the minute I looked, I was like, oh, okay, Ramona's Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> and there is no second choice, so had to run straight for her. Which was the most fun scene to shoot? Because this does definitely look like there's so many fun scenes in this movie, but which one would you say? Christmas. Christmas was Christmas. That was a day that was just pure joy on, on set. I think everybody was in the holiday spirit, <laughs> even though it was uh, April. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, one of my favorite scenes is when they were all on stage together and for the celebrity guest of the club that comes yeah. to that look. Amazing. Well, that that was probably my favorite moment of my life, if we're asking that question. But yeah, seeing them all on stage together really did bring a tear to my eye. It really did. And what was the last hustle that you did in your life that you'd say you were chasing and you finally got it? Would it have to be this one besides this? This is it, baby. <laughs> yeah, this was uh, this was the hustle all along. I I I I didn't want to take any other directing jobs because I wanted to make sure that this was the this movie got made and so yeah this was it you definitely did a fantastic job thank, thank you, you so much thank you wishing you all the best thank you so much